welcome to this edition of USF College Week's Movie Moment. I'm Stephanie Chmielewski. And I'm Michelle Jacobs. This week we are reviewing Bounty Hunter. This movie stars Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston and is rated PG-13 for sexual conduct, language, and some violence. This movie basically tells the tale of Gerard Butler and Jennifer Aniston, who are Milo and Nicole. And um, they at one time were in a relationship. Life happens, they split up. And in the terrible mix of events, Gerard Butler Hi, becomes Milo. a bounty hunter who is here. given the yeah. wonderful curse and blessing of tracking down Fancy. his ex. Um, he immediately takes the job and they go on this you, crazy whirlwind adventure all around town, you know, chasing after each other and um, find out they get in a mix with cops and drug deals and this hunter. terrible bad yep. thing going on. <laughs> but, you know, we gotta throw in some romance, mix it up. They have the whole Cupid's Cabin scene. Pretty good little film. I really like this movie. I mean, I love action and girl chick flicks aren't really my thing, but uh, since it had a good mix, you know, I really liked it. And there were some hints of comedy in there. Gerard Butler to is one of my favorite male sure actors, and Jennifer Aniston, not one of the top, but you know, she can stand her own. And I think her and Gerard did a really good job playing off of each other throughout the movie. Favorite part would have to be when Stuart. You see him throughout the play, or throughout the movie, and he his character just gets ragged on. I mean, it's funny. I think those parts are part, some of the most hilarious. But the opening shot of this movie is Gerard chasing Jennifer, and he just jumps up behind her and drops on her. It's the funniest thing. And I mean, it could have been a little bit more, but I liked it overall and it was a great movie. So Steph, what'd you think? You know, I was pretty impressed. It was a fun movie, um, good time, entertaining, but I think it was lacking a little bit in the comedy era. Um, it was really marketed, I think, as like a, a funny movie, something that both you know men and women can enjoy. And um, as such, I took my fiance and you know, we did have a good time, but I spent more time flicking popcorn at him than I really <laughs> did laughing at the screen. Um, you know, the, the actors are really good. Gerard Butler has really, really started to develop a character for himself. Um, he's been in lots of really big name shows, Phantom of the Opera, P.S. I Love You, 300, 300. <laughs> you know, stuff like that. And, um, you know, really, really coming into his own and I think probably becoming one of my favorite male actors on screen right now. And then you have Jennifer Aniston who's always good, you know. Started out in Friends, well not started out, but you know, had a really big hit in Friends. And, um, you know, just done well for herself all the way through. And, you know, she didn't disappoint me this time. But I could have seen more comedy, you know, get that real good balance in there for me. Could have been a little better. All right, so rating for the stars, how many are you going to give it? <sighs> I think I'm going to give it three stars for this time around. All right, well, you're three. I'm going to have to give it four just because Gerard Butler is one of my favorite male actors and he's in a towel in one of the scenes, so got to give it four. <laughs> I love the action romance. It really caught my eye and like you said, comedy could have been a little bit more, but I'm going to have to go with four. Well, that wraps up another edition of USF Movie Moment. Back, Back to, to you guys in the studio. <laughs> Coming up after the break, Joshua Duncan sits down with 605 Magazine's John Snyder on Crosstalk. We'll be right back. Good morning and welcome to another edition of Crosstalk. I'm Joshua Duncan and this morning I have with me John Snyder. He's the Director of Mar for Sales and Marketing for 605 Mag Magazine. How are you doing, John? Good, good. How are you doing, Josh? Good, good. Thank you for joining us this morning. So, John, tell us um, a little bit, how did you get involved with uh, or what you do to sales and marketing, period? Uh, you know, it's just one of those things that I've always ended up kind of falling into with jobs and everything, and it seemed like, uh, you know, talking to people is a fairly easy thing to do. So I kind of just did that. <laughs> what, so what uh, drew you to 605 Magazine as probably one of the places to land your feet? Uh, well, Alana and I came up with the idea, um, and she has the experience with the journalistic side of it and I've got some experience with sales and marketing so it kind of worked out that way those are the two main things that we had to basically have to start a magazine and um, yeah, you know it's going pretty good so far what's it been like I know the magazine is just a little of a year old a little of a year old yeah, So what's that been like yeah uh, we just did our 16th monthly edition so it's uh, it's going great we just came off our best month sales wise which is a, is a big feat because there's a lot of people in Sioux Falls that haven't really n 
uh, put value on the 18 to 35 demographic that we've been trying to reach. Uh, they don't think that they, they're out there purchasing or reading, for that matter. They just assume that, you know, just willy-nilly, but they, you know, we've been proving a lot of people wrong. What's it been like trying to uh, get people to, um, like, buy ads to? I know that's how kind of a magazine is funded. What's that been like, especially for a magazine with that smaller demographic? Yeah, uh, you know, it's been, I would say that we, it's more challenging on a day-to-day -day basis than probably other groups, but that didn't dissuade us from doing it. We really wanted to reach younger, a younger audience and kind of show the value, kind of provide a service. Um, it's been it's been challenging, but it's been really rewarding as we've kind of proven that we can do this and be successful at it. What's been the uh, response from that 18 to 25, 30 year old with the magazine being out? How do they like it? Good. Um, you know, the, the good thing about this age group is that if they don't like something, they'll tell you. And overwhelmingly, it's been really positive. And we've gotten a couple of uh, things throughout our first year and a half almost, and we've made changes uh, when we when the people that read it tell us something, we go back, we look at it, and we say, okay, maybe that needs working, and we've done it. We just uh, are two months into a new designer, so our layout's been cleaned up a lot, and it's, uh, it's looking really great, and we've gotten nothing but rave reviews from people on that. I know in talking with you, too, you said you've even hired on, I believe it's two more salespeople. Right? Yeah, yeah, we actually, uh, we just expanded, so we're doing pretty well right now. Um, uh, we are just growing and need more people, yeah. There's uh, only so many hours in the day. What else is uh, 605 Magazine involved in? Well, we're starting to do, we did a party last year that went really well. Uh, we kind of expected to have uh, 100 or 200 people come and 600, 700 people showed up. So this year we're going to do uh, a summer festival type all day, all ages, downtown event outdoors probably 3 to 11 it's going to be august 14th and it's going to be called the summer classic so it's something we're going to look at doing every year uh i can't really announce the bands yet but if you you know keep keep up with our twitter and our facebook and stuff like that you know people will be able to see what that is it should be a really 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 great show now do you guys um do any internships at all for, for kids to get involved with uh alana handles most of that and we do uh but you know it's nice because a lot of our writers uh, uh, do this as portfolio work, and uh, we do have an intern right now that we're working with in the fashion department. And it's nice because you know we can help people get jobs. Uh, a lot of people that have written for us have used that as portfolio work to get jobs uh, with some ad agencies um, and things like that. And interns are nice because we can help them get credit, and they enjoy doing this because it's a topic that they kind of are interested in. So where can the magazine be found at? if I wanted an issue. If you want an issue, there's one right there. <laughs> but besides that one, um, if you go to 605magazine.com, we have an interactive Google map that we keep pretty updated. And it, uh, it will show you all the spots. We have now four in Brandon, and the rest in Sioux Falls, about 75 in Sioux Falls. So it, we keep it updated there, so you can always check that out. All right, well, thank you for joining me this morning, John. We appreciate it. And so, like you said, you can pick up the 605 Magazine at uh, all those locations. But if you've missed past issues, you can go to 605magazine.com and read those. Thank you. And coming up next is Brett Geese with Sports.